Hey everyone, thanks for coming. Hey, what are we doing here? Uh, we're having a board meeting. Some of us actually care about this company. We have a company? All right, let's get started. Now, reviews show that Superman's underappreciated little brother has been receiving more love over time than closet quarterback. Now, th while this is great for me, it's not so for some of our less talented writers. What can we do to improve upon this? I want wittier jokes. Always a plus. Oh, less homophobic humor. Yes, this should help us appeal to a, a gayer audience. Hold on a second. Sure, your script was funny, but most of the humor involved uh, complicated special effects that we don't even have access to as students. And most of it was lost in the rewriting of the script anyways, and you're telling me that yours was still funnier than mine? Nico, I have a chart. Whatever, man. Anyway, uh, the board is expecting a new video by the end of the week. So, I've asked you all to come up with new ideas for scripts. Let's see what you've come up with. Antonio. Alright, look, there's this, there's this kitten, right? He's on the piano, he's crawling across it, he starts playing jazz. I want a script by tomorrow night. Lenny. Alright, I got this idea. It's a 90s sitcom parody about this family, but there's so many family members and so many genres covered that the intro of the episode takes about 11 minutes to fully go through. Okay, it sounds good, but I think it's been done before. But I still love it. Get me a script. Nico. Alright, so you know that sex scandal that happened in Moore Catholic High School where the kid banged his teacher? So, like, he's been getting like, so much praise for that. Everybody's, like, totally behind him. So I thought it'd be funny if we uh, satirized it and did a news report that he was getting so many high fives that he actually got, went into a coma. And it's like kind of like a statement on like how we praise um, boys for uh, being sexually uh, promiscuous while we, you know, demean girls for doing the same exact thing. What? What do you mean to accomplish by this? I mean, what is the point we're trying to make? Well, it's better than a stupid movie about a cat. You take that back! What I'm saying is that we need to appeal to our viewers, and I don't feel you're doing that. I don't want this company going under. Alright, now since the start of this company, we have been trying to be as cost-effective as possible. However, Nico, you have been Losing us money since we began. That's you, the red line there. I'm the blue line up top. It's been consistently awesome. Lenny and Antonio are doing all right, too, right there. Okay, we all go over budget. We literally have no budget and no profits. We don't make money off any of this. And that's the exact attitude that's losing this company money. Okay, when did this become a company? And who made you the leader? Listen, we're supposed to be a team, not a company. Again, we're just a bunch of film majors. Um, actually, I, I'm a mass comm major. Okay, no one cares. You get the point. No, but you see, mass comm, it stands for company, as in the mass company that we have here. Are you shitting me right now, Lenny? Look, Nico, I, I didn't want to have to do this, but I think I'm going to have to let you go. You're letting me go? You can't fire me. This isn't a company. Actually, according to this graph, this is in fact a company and I can fire you. You're just gonna let him fire me. You're bringing us down, man. We saw the charts. Oh my god, you're gonna fire me over some bullshit charts? I literally saw Mike draw those in crayon, like, not even 10 minutes ago. He just took a picture of them and uploaded it onto his computer and thought we wouldn't notice. And you're gonna fire me over this? See what I care. I don't need you. And your little malware movie fucking sucked. Nico, you had better get out of my office! This is my house! Okay, I'm going to go to my room, and if you guys aren't gone in 10 minutes, I will personally throw your asses out to the curb. Assholes. So, Lenny, how about that sitcom idea? A pinch of salt and laughter too A scoop of kids to add the spice A dash of love to make it nice And you've got too many cooks 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 It takes a lot to make a stew When it comes to me
cooks will spoil the broth, but they'll fill our hearts with so much, so much love. Too many cooks. A family is like a soup. Everyone adds an extra scoop. Mix an ounce of smile so sweet. A dash of cool to add. 